stuff around the paper. This bad boy. Hello friends, thank you for tuning in again. Another episode of the Backyard Warrior. Today I'm making something special. I'm making tangia. Tangia is a popular Moroccan dish cooked on a clay pot in a bad houses. It's buried in the ashes and cooked for hours. And um, the meat you cook on it is just a tough cut that nobody wants. You put it in a clay pot and it cooks for hours until tender. So it's the uh, same thing as the purpose of barbecue. You just take a cheap cut and turn it into something nice. You can use a beef shank, uh, oxtail, neck bones, anything that will take, usually takes time to cook. And low and slow it cooks for hours until tender and full of the bone. Today I'm using leg of lamb. I had a whole leg that I cut earlier. So this is what we're working with today. The whole leg of lamb is cut up to pieces. You can use any meat you want. So uh, for the ingredients that goes with this tangier, I have a few ingredients here. First, saffron garlic, olive oil, some good olive oil, preserved lemon, and ghee, fresh cumin, whole cumin. So uh, that's all the ingredients we're using for this. We're gonna put everything in the clay pot right here. As you see, this is actually a Mexican clay pot. That's the closest I found to a tangia clay pot. It looks similar. This one is a little bit wider, wide mouth. Tangia usually is a narrow mouth. And uh, this one is good because it's not glazed inside. So there's no lead or anything on it. So uh, we're gonna put all the ingredients in here, and toss it around and then bury it in the ashes. First, we're gonna steep our saffron in hot water. Give it a minute to release all its aromas and oils. You can cook tangia where if you want, in an oven, a pressure cook, a Dutch oven. Here, our preserved lemon. I'm just gonna take the seeds because they tend to be better if they're cooked. And you don't wanna bite into one of these. If you notice, I don't have any salt in here because this dish is gonna be salty just from these preserved lemons. So tangia originally uh, started in Marrakesh, in Morocco. Anywhere you go in Marrakesh, people will sell you tangia. It's a street food, it's a gourmet food, it's it's a family dish, it's uh, laborers in the morning before they go to work they just pack everything in the clay pot and on their way to work they drop it at the bad houses so, garlic, olive oil, lemon, cumin and uh, it's important to have fresh cumin, whole cumin for this dish and grind it right, uh, right before you assemble the dish because the flavors, the aromas, the oils are very fresh a few minutes after you grind it. So I have a little grinder here and use it for this. Right there, very nice. Oh, the smell, man. It, it really, there's nothing much to it beside the assembly and the fire. Tangier is a very easy, uh, simple dish to make. Now I'm gonna start putting the meat in the clay pot. This is how people cooked for thousands of years before all the technology we have now and all the tools we have. Very simple, clay pot, fire, and I'm gonna add, use some good olive oil if you can get your hands on, on it. Cumin. I 
that was a cumin seed on it. It looked like a fly. All right. All right. Saffron water. preserved lemon and garlic. I'm just gonna smash it. You can put it in with the skin and everything. It's all gonna cook down. Now we're gonna toss everything together. All the ingredients get to know each other. You do a uh, Parchment paper, but I'm using it for a safer. I really a big difference between foil and I mean a uh, pa parchment paper. Uh. Good. All right, all sealed. So we make a couple slits just to let the air escape. So this is ready and we're gonna put it on a fire pit and let it cook for a few hours. See how all the fire here, all the wood broke down to ashes and coals. This is how our dangia will cook. So now we're gonna place it on top of the brick. So, it, and here it will sit for hours until it's done. All right, so gotta put the lid on here. Hopefully, this fits. Yep, and I'll see you in a few hours, seven hours in. I think this tangia is ready. Ooh, hot. This thing is ready. Seven hours. Now we're gonna let it rest for maybe 15, 20 minutes before we open this bad boy up, okay? We're gonna find out how we did with this tangia. I like what I'm seeing. Just give it a little shake shake. Nice, look at that. Clean. Look at these bones. Beautiful. Look at this one right here. Clean. This is nice. Oh, look at that meat. Tender. Full apart. Mmm. Mm. Oh, wow. I think I nailed this one. 
the combination of cumin, lemon, garlic, saffron, all of that works like magic, man. The meat is so tender. Look at these bones. A beautiful. Usually you eat this with bread. You dip the bread in the sauce. I don't have any on me right now, but I really don't need it. I can just eat it without bread. But this tangier came out great. Very happy with you. The smell, the aroma that comes out of it, beautiful. So this cook was a success. Seven hours, low and slow, cooked on a fire pit, using a clay pot. And the result is phenomenal, got all this. That's it for this one. Again, if you like this content, enjoy it, please like, comment, share, all that good stuff, it helps a lot. Until the next one, stay safe and bye bye.